DJI's popular palm-sized drone just got mightier. The tiny sub 250 gram DJI Mini 3 Pro is finally a mini drone that achieves the wow factor. What's perhaps the most impressive thing about the Mini 3 Pro is that DJI has managed to include a tri-directional obstacle sensing system. That's obstacle avoidance to me and you. But that's not all. The new Mini has seen upgrades across the board, with the sensor size increasing, the aperture increasing to f1.7, video capabilities have been vastly improved, and the camera can be rotated 90 degrees to capture both stills and video in landscape and the ever increasingly popular portrait format. The list of positives goes on and on, and you'll quickly discover why the Mini 3 has received that coveted Pro moniker. But in a nutshell, what you get with the Mavic Mini 3 Pro is a drone with many of the features and capabilities of higher spec drones while remaining in that all important regulatory friendly sub 250 gram category. But something to bear in mind is that all of these neat new features and that Pro name tag come with a large leap in price. This is to be expected, but the range that was once competitively priced to appeal to beginners is now priced much closer to the Mavic Air 2S. Design tweaks include a more rounded gimbal mount and propeller arms that have been made more aerodynamic. Those propellers are larger than the ones used by the Mini 2, and this, with the help of a new battery, has increased flight times. The Mini 3 Pro offers three flight modes, Cine, Normal, and Sport. Cine mode provides a slower max flight speed of 13.4 miles per hour and makes the controls less sensitive for smoother cinematic video footage. Normal mode has a max speed of 22.3 miles per hour and will be the most commonly used mode, while sport mode clocks in a max speed of 35.7 miles per hour, but results in collision avoidance technology being turned off. Despite its small size and lightweight, the Mini 3 Pro has a wind speed resistance of just under 24 miles per hour and can perform reasonably well in these conditions. Overall, the controls felt responsive and the connection between the remote and the drone was reliable. The new 2453 milliamp hour intelligent flight battery weighs just over 80 grams and is claimed to provide up to 34 minutes of flight time. In reality, temperature, wind conditions, and saving enough battery to get your drone safely back on the ground mean that flights will more realistically land in the 20 to 25 minute region. A bigger intelligent flight battery plus is available featuring a 3850 milliamp hour capacity, but that does weigh in at 121 grams. So while that battery supposedly provides you with 47 minutes of flight time, it will increase that weight of the drone over the magic 250 gram number. Now that's gonna be problematic for some of us. It's also important to note that this larger capacity battery won't be available in all regions, including the EU. The most important area of improvement has to be the addition of the tri-directional obstacle sensing. This, alongside Advanced Pilot Assistance System 4.0, provides obstacle avoidance, which can be turned off when necessary or set up to allow the drone to automatically fly around obstacles. This is a huge leap forward for the Mavic Mini series and brings with it additional features. Quick shots are automated flight patterns that allow users to capture dynamic video with ease and are now available to a Mavic Mini drone for the first time. Not to mention there is now subject tracking with three main options available, allowing you to track moving objects, fly around static subjects automatically, or a mode that keeps the subject in the frame while you worry about manually flying the drone. All modes work well and are a welcome addition. The video captured by the drone overall is excellent. The videos captured for the test shots that you're watching are recorded without ND filters because these weren't available at the time of recording. The result is that the 4K footage can look choppy due to the fast shutter speeds required to balance the exposure against the fast f1.7 fixed aperture. Videos can be captured at three resolutions, 4K at frame rates ranging from 24 to 60 FPS, 2.7K at frame rates in the same range, and Full HD at 24 up to 120 frames per second. The latter provides excellent slow motion video. The maximum video bitrate is 150 megabits per second, and with normal and D-Cine-like color profiles, the Mini 3 Pro is suitable for both amateur 
and professional video. Plus, there's a digital zoom, providing 2 times at 4K, 3 times at 2.7K, and 4 times at Full HD. The Full HD ultimately provides the best 2 times zoom, although all digital zooming should be used sparingly due to the loss of quality. The Mavic 3 Mini Pro will be available from the DJI Store and authorized retailers from the 10th of May 2022, and will be available in three configurations. The first option for the Mini Pro 3 with no controller will cost you £639, but this option is aimed at users who already own a compatible controller. The second and likely most popular option is the standard kit, which includes the DJI RC N1 controller and will cost you £709. The third kit will cost you £859 and includes the brand new DJI RC Smart Controller, which isn't a huge leap in price from the standard kit. But overall, the Mini 3 Pro models are significantly more expensive than the previous Mavic Mini drones. The Mavic Mini 3 Pro offers a serious upgrade from the previous Mini series, thanks to the larger sensor, landscape and portrait format shooting, video up to 4K at 60fps, and let's not forget about that tri-directional obstacle sensing, which brings a host of automated flight patterns and obstacle avoidance. With three kit options available, there are more options than ever, but with a significant price increase on the Mavic Mini 2, it's not quite as beginner friendly as many were hoping for. Thanks for watching Tech Radar. If you liked the video, remember to give it a like. If you loved it, why not subscribe to the channel? And finally, remember to head over to techradar.com for all the latest tech news and reviews.